I'm trying to make this video fast because I uh, didn't realize I didn't have that much time. <clears throat> I probably should have worked out when I got home. But I went ahead and did in case I don't feel like it. Anyway, this is my um, Terry Cloth, you know, freaking hair turban to absorb some of the moisture out of my hair. And I wash and detangle my hair in four sections. But uh, for this styling evolution, I'm only going to use two. Ooh, my towel. Okay, so this is the back section. And I'm about to, like I say, try out my Joyco Smooth Cure Leave In Rescue Treatment. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm, I'm whatever, hang on top of that. Oop, how do I open it? I've never used before before, so I'm going to pump a little while before this stuff starts coming out. I'm going to use a good bit of it. <clears throat> This much. Rub it in the hands really good. Stir it at the ends and work my way up. It kind of doesn't smell like anything. I mean, yeah, it smells like something, but nothing good, nothing bad. And I'm gonna go with it one more time. Not as much as I had the first time. About this much. <clears throat> I haven't used a creamy leave-in conditioner in a very long time. I was using the Fusion 23 that you have to put in a bottle and spray in your hair. But as of lately, I haven't even been using a leave-in conditioner, which isn't very good. So that's why I am gonna bought some offset marshmallows. Okay, so that's on. Then, keep in mind the first time ever doing this. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This is my John Frieda Frizz Ease Extra Strength Formula Hair Serum. It's supposed to keep your hair from being so frizzy but I can't tell you if it works because I've never used it. This is clear so you probably can't see how much I have in there but it's a decent amount. Slightly larger than a quarter size amount. Should I on my ends? I'm going to my way up. I'm just smoothing that on. Um, I did detangle with a comb, but before I got out, I turned the shower water completely cold, rinsed for a few seconds um, without manipulating my hair, and you know, so my curls weren't as separate as they are if you comb it. <clears throat> Just to make sure there's no tangles, but you know, the washing curls still have like my natural curls. Okay, and then this is the John Frieda Frizz East Curl Reviver Styling Mousse. I'm using a lot of this. I use another uh, dabble of it just as much as I had the first time. A lot.
don't rake it through your hair, but I don't want to disturb what my curls naturally do by pulling and tugging at it. Oops, I watched a couple, uh, over the years, not recently, I've watched quite a few wash and go and scrunching type videos. Uh, drop some on the floor. And um, a lot of people break through the like gels, but when people use like scrunching cream and mousse and stuff like that, it seems like they try to touch their hair, you know, as little as possible, especially after they already have a product in it. So I'm gonna try this out, see if this method um works for me and uh, I hope so because I would love to wear um wash and go I always love the way they look but I don't know if that goes with this section of the back but like I said my hair is such a different texture in the back it's a little weird in the past but that was always with gel one time don't know how long ago it was but it wasn't supposed to be a wash or go or anything I just um I think co-washed my hair and left some conditioner in and I ended up having to go somewhere before I could do my hair. And then I ended up being out longer than I thought. So my hair was mostly dry and there was nothing in it but residual conditioner and it looked okay. Obviously it wasn't defined at all, but it was definitely wearable. So that kind of, that was a few months ago, but it kind of gave me... <clears throat> A little more confidence to try out the wash and go thing. So I'm gonna use one more big wallop of the mousse, and I'm gonna put it all over. see the finished product before I leave. I have to leave in like 25 minutes. So, and I don't have a diffuser anymore. So, never. Um, but if I remember, I will <clears throat> show you what it looks like when I come back. Okay, and so that is that. Okay, and I'll show you the finished product later. Peace. my hair is about 50 to 60 percent dry you can already see that shrinkage action and that tail <laughs> that's why I don't wear them because that back strip of my hair is the curl texture is just so much looser than the rest of it it won't shrink up it will shrink up more than that but it won't shrink up nearly as much as this will because this side will shrink up a little bit more than this time. My hair is just, it's weird like that. But when I wear my hair straight flat iron, it's all, you know, even. So my hair is not uneven, it just shrinks at different rates. No, I'm thinking if I should keep it like this or if I should pin a piece back or something. So I don't want to be flipping it out of my face all day. I think I'm going to take a little section. Like this. And twist it. This is because I, I hate hair in my face. Oops. I'm doing insanity, so I'm supposed to be eating every couple hours. Keep my metabolism working, so that's my alarm. I'm ready to eat something. For breakfast, this one I had. A bowl of oatmeal with sliced apples in it and two stalks of celery um, dipped in peanut butter. So, uh, 
I'm not sure if I'm about to eat now. Probably a piece of fish. I don't eat too much because we're going out to eat after we leave the museum. So I think I'm just going to pin this over here somewhere. Um, I'm just going to use a, wait a minute, I'm going to use a flower. I'm just going to use a bobby pin. I'm not going to draw any attention to this piece. This is just to get the freaking hair out of my face. Okay. And that's that. And this is pretty much what it's going to look like. It's mostly um, dry. It's Like I said, it's going to shrink a little bit more. I'm pretty sure it's going to be frizzier, but normally my hair really poofs and frizzes a lot more at this point. So, I think that John Frida does do something. But I won't know until my hair is 100% dry, and I'll come back and let you guys know then. Peace. Okay, so I just got home. <clears throat> my hair is completely 100% dry. I think I left the house around 1, 1.05 in the afternoon and it's like after 8 o'clock right now. So it's definitely completely dry. This is all day hair. <clears throat> and um, as you can see, it's totally shrunken up off my shoulders. But <laughs> I got a little rat tail back right there. That back sure my hair just does not shrink up the same amount. So I say if I do make this my style, I'll just take a bobby pin and tuck it in. But yeah, it is soft, very movable, pliable, touchable. It smells good. Um, and I don't know if you can. I don't know if this camera is really picking up this situation right now because. Because, because I have like no friends right now. <laughs> I'm like, let me see if I can separate the pieces. Look at this. Do you see this? There's virtually no frizz. I mean, it's like, first of all, I think it's more defined than my hair used to be when I wore the Echo Styler. Because when my hair was wet, it looks really defined, but as it dry, it would dry in a big frizz poop ball. And my hair is completely dry, like I said, and you can still see ringlets in my hair. It's not just, you know what I mean, like a frizzy poof. There's like, there's definition, but it's still, like I said, very soft, very movable. Um, and I love it. I really, really love it. You know, if I wanted to take my hair right now and, you know, do something different to it, I could. Um, and it just feels great. It feels moisturized. It feels very hydrated. Like I said, it's defined. There is a lot of frizz. And a little frizz that there is, it's from me, like, you know, pulling my hair apart. But for me not bothering with it and just letting it do what it did, there was no frizz. Love it. So if I do wear wash and goes again, I'll use that those products, which was the Joyco Smooth Cure, uh, it's a leave-in rescue treatment, plus the John Frieda Frizz Ease uh, Extra Strength Hair Serum, plus the John Frieda Frizz Ease Curl Reviver uh, Styling Mousse. These two together, um, and nothing else was what I used. And like I said, this was not me doing a bunch of sections, you know, like I would have to do with the gel. Section it in a whole bunch of sections, row by row, raking the gel through and all that. I split my hair into two huge sections, front and back, you know, and just move the product on and let it do its own thing. And this was the result, and I freaking love it. So that is that. I'm gonna put my hair up because obviously I can't wear it like this to um, work. And I'm just gonna <clears throat> put it in a ponytail on top of my head, probably, and put it in a bun for work tomorrow. But if I do any styling um, next weekend, I will show you guys. So, peace.